A new work week and we're still in the rainy season and we have yet another tropical wave set to come by as we go into Tuesday. So definitely, definitely look for a few showers to come through, especially further north across the island chain. There's some dry Saharan air in there as well, so it's getting to be a mixed day for both Trinidad and Tobago. The most of the heavier showers should be north towards Barbados in particular and then moving across into St. Lucia and St. Vincent. Meanwhile, there's yet another tropical wave out there, a couple out there but they're also fighting a lot of dry Saharan air. So most of the moisture is still hanging around the ITCZ, but in terms of any tropical cyclone activity, we're not expecting any over the next few days. So looking towards Trinidad and Tobago, mostly cloudy conditions expected, scattering of showers as you go into the mid-morning, into the afternoon. And most of those showers should be, for the most part, on the moderate side, but there's the slight chance of you seeing a heavier or thundery burst as you go into the afternoon. Similarly for Trinidad, look for the clouds definitely building as you go through the morning, the daytime heating, takes over, pushing a lot of that moisture into the atmosphere, creating some showers, some of those turning heavy or thundery along western areas of Trinidad, and the possibility of coming down the Gulf of Paria, down towards San Fernando, Pinal, and all towards a carcass as well. So it'll be one of those days where the showers will be locally heavy, but for the most part, we should be seeing just the scattering of showers. So looking at our humid day, 33 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 30 degrees Celsius in Tobago. Now for Tobago, look for 30 degrees Celsius continuing on a Wednesday. Still the chance of a thundery downpour there, but for Thursday and Friday, there's the scattering of showers for the most part, with conditions beginning to dry out slightly. Uh, of course, in Trinidad, still the midweek showers may turn heavy, but once you get into Thursday and a Friday, we'll keep conditions slightly on the humid side for Thursday, and then it gets a bit warmer on a Friday. So, mariners are heading out. You'll notice those winds that shift to the southeast at 50 knots behind the tropical wave, but still a moderate chop out there, one and a half to two meters for the most part as you go offshore and close to one meter through the Gulf of Paria. And you've got your low tide at 11.30 a.m. and your high tide at 6 p.m. So that's your local weather, and that's it from me.